is super loud. So obviously at this point, everyone in this classroom is looking at me. The professor is looking at me. So they're looking at me and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me. And then I look at them and I said, God. Oh God, please no. back to my channel guys if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution can I tell you something this hair ne, was really cute in theory and even now as you look at it it's so cute it's so nice I look good I look nice but here's the thing it's so inconvenient for me when it's time for me to film because I've got to stand back enough for the whole thing to be in and so when I'm speaking I can't just come close to the camera because then my hair's not gonna be in it so great lovely anyway guys do you know the saying be careful what you wish for because my dear one you just might get it let me share something with you guys let me share a story that actually was evidence proof that that statement is true that you should be careful what you wish for because you'll get it let me tell you guys i always say that if you want to approach me as a man so you want to take me out on a date you want to potentially get into a relationship whatever if you want to approach me with that in mind come to me and say it with your chest meaning just come to me boldly and state your intentions hi my name is such and such and I think you are beautiful and I'd like to get to know you or I would like to take you out on a date I don't like people who want to make you play guessing games you know uh, complete the lyrics on their story or tell all their friends and never want to come to you I don't appreciate that stuff and honestly while you're busy giving hints and you know complete the lyrics other people's sons other men are coming boldly with their chest and saying hey will you be my sugar baby hey can I take you out on a date hello hi this is what I want but you are there you are keeping quiet who's waiting for you no one is waiting for you ain't nobody got time for that boy oh boy did I regret what I wished for in this particular instance it was Valentine's Day last year and at my university different clubs organizations school departments all gather up in the hub and your club or your department would hand out whatever you want to hand out for Valentine's Day so they were handing out these chocolate candies and all these things all this good stuff right which I had to ignore because I was late for class can someone actually please tell Benita that if a class starts at half past five ne? it doesn't mean get there at half past five it means by half past five you must be seated ready to begin if somebody could just drill that into my brain yeah that'd be great I always get there at 5 30 on the dot which I'm not late but obviously it's not great it's not something you should strive to do but you know either way I'm not late so I head on over to my class and all the class people obviously are there the professors there in the front and I sit right at the back right I sit next to this guy and I always talk to him and stuff like that like I wouldn't say we were friends it's just that we sit next to each other in class and you know we talk about stuff in class or we talk about the core stuff right cool should I give him a name hmm what should I name him um what should I name him can I just name him buddy I'm sorry I'm not the most creative person I'll name him buddy so I'm on my phone you know waiting for the professor to get done doing his thing so we can get started when all of a sudden guys I'm telling you I cannot make this stuff up I wish I could but I can't I'm not even creative enough to come up with a name I said his name is buddy cannot make this stuff up now picture this I want you to close your eyes and picture this right now the class is silent everybody's on their phone doing their own thing the professor's going through papers you know so you can get the course started when suddenly buddy looks at me and with the loudest voice that he could get from not even from his intestines honestly this voice came straight from the toes that's how loud his voice was he took it straight from the toes all the way up to the whole body and he said Benita, I think that you are really beautiful and I would love to get to know you and oh by the way I got you these chocolates the chocolates that I had to run past in the hub 
he presents these chocolates to me. He says, I got you these chocolates. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't have time to get you flowers. Um, and then he said something about the season. I don't know what he was saying about the season, but he was saying something about the season, hence he couldn't get me the flowers that he wanted. Now remember, he got this voice from his toes. So he is super loud. So obviously at this point, everyone in this classroom is looking at me. The professor is looking at me. So they're looking at me and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and then I look at them and I said, God, Oh God, please. No, no, no. At this point, I turned red and I'm black. I'm a black person. Okay. Me, this black woman, I turned red. I was so embarrassed and he kept on going. I was literally looking at him like, Okay. So now the whole class is looking at us. Even the professor's quiet. I don't even appreciate it. At this point, guys, I'm pretty sure class was supposed to have started like two minutes ago, okay? And this professor is not saying anything. Instead, he's looking at me, looking at him, looking at them, looking at him, looking at us. And I'm embarrassed, okay? Now the spotlight is on me. He said his whole We see you as a friend of mine. Yeah. And the question is is she going to be that mean girl who says no at this point i'm peer pressured i'm being peer pressured because i don't want to say no and embarrass him in front of everyone and the professor who happens to be looking and i don't want to say yes because i don't want to say yes i'm not interested with a voice that comes from my ear piercing see this tiny hole here that you probably can't even see that's where my voice came from i was like um, um uh, uh, <clears throat> don't celebrate Valen um can we uh thank you that's so sweet let's let's just talk after class and after I say this awkward response which I whispered enough for him to hear me he was like okay well I just wanted you to know that you're beautiful and I like you and I was like okay all right we do keep quiet moral of the story is yes come to me with your chest but for the love of all things good in an appropriate setting Please, that I think is the most embarrassing thing that I have experienced here in my college experience. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about dating in America. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, somebody commented under the videos and said, hey, can you do a video about dating in America? And I was like, uh, oh, uh, girl, hell, oh. Uh. My love life is a... Uh I don't have anything to say. It's sad. You know, you kind of need to be, to be within in order to, you know, because I'm not, and then it's just, you know what I'm saying? But then I actually remembered that, hold on a minute, wait a minute. I do have some dating stories and I can provide some insight on dating in America. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is what is dating in America like as an international student or a foreigner in America? So the first thing that I wanna talk about is dating apps. I have noticed that here in America, a lot of people actually use dating apps. And I'm not saying actually because there's some kind of shame associated with that. In fact, it's the opposite here. A lot of people use dating apps, a lot of people are on tinder on um what is it bumble i think i think it's called bumble and um there's one for muslim people as well it's called i think it's called Muzmatch or something like that and then there's something called meetblackpeople.com guys there is a dating app for absolutely everything and everyone and from what i have seen again i cannot speak for the whole of america but from what i have seen there is no negative association with dating apps so if you're on a dating app no one is going to oh my. are you are you having trouble finding love does nobody like you? Are you that desperate? Let me make a confession. I've never been on a dating app. 
I've never used Tinder, I've never used meetblackpeople.com, I've never used interracial, whatever interracial dating site there is. I've literally just never been on a dating app because honestly, as someone who comes from South Africa, of which I do know that in SA there are people who do use these apps, but as a woman coming from South Africa, for me, the, I, the thought of meeting someone on a dating app and then meeting up with that person literally makes me sick because I'm scared the person is going to rape me, to kill me, like I'm scared I'm going to leave my house to go on a date or to meet up with this person and then I'll never be seen again. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it was shocking for me, not so much that people use it or how many people use it, but every time I speak to people who use these dating apps, I'm like, are you not afraid of being kidnapped or being raped or you know like anything could happen what if you're meeting a psycho you know what I mean and I actually had a friend of mine who would meet people on dating apps and I would always tell her listen send me his number tell me where you're going like so I can keep track of you and she was like dude why are you so stressed out about this everybody does it like it's normal as a woman in South Africa dude you can't even go for a walk at night without feeling anxious you can't even go inside an uber a bolt or a taxify without being scared for your life so now imagine going on a dating app and meeting up with strangers sometimes at their homes like oh, oh wow and mainly when people use these apps they're using it to have hookups so people just want to find someone that they can have sex with whether it's for a short time or a long time but either way mostly people just do this for the hookups and not for a relationship however there are some people who do actually use these apps for a relationship and they actually do successfully find love I have a friend of mine right now who's in an actual committed relationship with someone that he met on tinder but also let me just say guys it's 2020 surely we're not getting catfished in 2020 all of us or most of us have seen the show catfish if you haven't search it up if you are going to date someone online make sure that you know that they are who they say they are if you are unsure tell them to take a picture with a fork in their mouth and two uh, knives in their hands and what else closing their eyes or something like that so that you know it's not a picture that they can just have lying around or ask them to write your name on a piece of paper and take a picture holding it so you can see that they are who they actually say they are because yes as much as people are finding hookups and love on dating apps a lot of people are being scammed online or through dating apps by talking to people who are not who they say they are the next thing I want to talk about which is actually something that most international students face is dating as an international student is actually really difficult because I'm like other people you're not in your own country and more often than not you're just in that country to study so what am I saying it's like me right now getting into a committed relationship with an American it's all fun and great for now but what is the long-term goal what is the end goal you know because if I'm gonna get into a relationship I want to get into a serious relationship that is going to end in marriage however as an international student it becomes tricky because you have to have conversations such as okay if we do get into a relationship and hope to get married are we going to stay in America together are we going to move back to my country together are we gonna move to a whole new country together you know what I mean so that's something that a lot of international students face is never really being able to find their college sweetheart because you are on like a timer basically so when you think about having a relationship as an international student you need to think about the future it can't just be here now it needs to be future based and not everyone is ready to have those kinds of conversations not everyone is ready to deal with that reality I've seen a lot of international students get into relationships that ended very very bitterly because they never wanted to have that conversation and so the relationships end so poorly and it is scary it's an uncomfortable conversation to have it all seems theoretical until one day it isn't so uh, those are some of the things that make dating very difficult as an international student so now to bring it home to me again so basically personalizing it in my experience I would say that interracial dating here in America I would say would be in for me in my position would be much easier to do here in America as opposed to South Africa what I mean by that is in my experience I want to make it very clear this is in my experience I have had white men I have had black men I have had Arab men all come and actually actively pursue me and ask me out which is something that I did not experience in essay so for instance here in America I have had a lot 
of white people ask me out and buddy in the first story was actually a white man so along with dating apps there's also a willingness of other races to date one another I currently have a friend in South Africa who wants to be with a white man but is struggling because she's like all the white people that she knows are only into white people like where do you find the white people who are who are open to having an interracial relationship where do you find that space and it does exist because we do have a lot of interracial couples in South Africa but there are people who find themselves having to ask the question where do I find white people who are willing to be in an interracial relationship but personally here in America I would not find myself having that question naturally because I'm not asking but also because you do see people of other races actually actively pursue you as a black woman so that's something that I would say has been definitely different for me and that is actually something that I really do appreciate for me I think it's beautiful that there is a space within America where people are willing to say we're human and we're people I'm not gonna date you because you're white or because you're black but you're human and you're funny and I like you and I'm into you that is something that I definitely appreciate because I grew up in spaces where I would hear people in my school because I went to a PWI predominantly white institution I would hear people in my high school say things like the white people would be like oh I'd never date a black girl and I would even hear some of the black guys say I would never date a black girl so as a black girl growing up we've been made to feel that we're the ones that nobody wants that nobody wants to date because you're black and some will say you're too loud you're too ghetto you're too this you're too that and that's what i grew up experiencing in high school and it's been a beautiful experience now moving to america and getting older and being in spaces where people are not saying oh for a black girl for a black girl but simply you're cool you're funny you're beautiful you're this you're that and i want to get to know you and i think that's so important i think that as black girls we have been bullied for a very long time bullied by media bullied by other races bullied by men of our own races one day we should have the conversation of how black men in some ways have let black women down but we're not gonna get into that now because because that's not the point of this video but let me do end off by saying this black woman you are beautiful you are gorgeous you are smart you are wow you're amazing you are more than what the world tries to make you think you are you're more than that a black woman you are gorgeous and don't you let anyone convince you otherwise hey guys, so that is my dating experience up to this point if anything great happens or if there's an update I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll make another video. If there are any videos that you guys would like to see, comment down below or hit me up on Instagram. I hope you guys see that I actually do take your recommendations very seriously and I do try to make videos based on the suggestions that you guys actually have. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. See, I'm actually, I'm actually running late for a meeting right now, so gotta go.